everybody, this is Eric Warren. Welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. We are just a few shows away from show number 100, where I'm going to lay out what I think is the ultimate secret, the untold secret of the network marketing superstars. Hope you join us for that 100th anniversary show. But today, we're going to continue the series we started yesterday, this idea of if I could go back and give advice to a younger version of myself, what kind of advice would I give? If I can go back 20 years when I first joined this profession, what kind of advice would I give to a younger version of myself that would help me accelerate my growth? And <clears throat> this one sounds simple, but it's really profound, and it's this concept called the next thing. I learned this from one of the, my very early mentors, but it took me probably four or five years before I finally figured it out. And here's what successful people do that unsuccessful people don't do. Whenever they <clears throat> achieve something or they accomplish something, they immediately shift their focus to the next thing. Uh, what amateurs do, they accomplish something, they relax. They kick back and say, I accomplished it. The performers, the super achievers, they accomplish it and then they focus on the next thing as a natural progression of their growth. doesn't mean they don't appreciate where they are. It doesn't mean they don't appreciate what they've done or what they've accomplished. But <clears throat> they really pay attention to the next part of the evolution of their journey, no matter how high it is. Now, um, this can sound unfulfilling, but I promise you, all of our purposes is to grow, it's to experience what we can, it's to do what we can on this earth with our organization, with what God's given us. And that's what this next thing concept is about. See, I see too many people, they achieve a, a rank inside of the structure. And then consciously or subconsciously, they do this. They kick back and they now they want to be appreciated for that rank. The super achievers don't do that. They achieve the rank and they go, yeah, 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 I know I achieved that. Yay, yay for me. Okay, now let's see if we can get somebody in my organization to that rank. That's my next thing. Or I want to get to the next rank because that will help more people. That's my next thing. Or we've got a big event that's coming up in three months and we have to have a certain number of people at that event. That's my next thing. Or we had 100 people at the last event, we have to have 200 people at the next event. That's my next thing. So whatever it is, they're constantly focused on the next thing. And I see this happen at every level. A person sponsors one person in their organization. And then they sit back, consciously or subconsciously, and they wait for that person to do something. Versus taking action and either helping that person rank advance, working with them, or getting the next person. Or a person hits a, a level of, let's say they hit $1,000 a month. Then they consciously or subconsciously, they kick back. And I've done it so many times in my career, it's unbelievable. And they lose sight of the next thing, the natural progression of life. And if you sit there long enough, you know, the law of use kicks in. If you don't use what, you, what you're given, it's, it's lost. You know, that's not going to stay there forever. You don't get residual income at $1,000 a month. You get residual income at a later stage in your organization. At $1,000 a month, it's a fledgling. It's beginning. It's novice area, okay? Or a person hits $5,000 a month. And then they, let's say they quit their job, and they go full-time in the network marketing profession. I've seen that hurt so many people because not only have they have they kind of lost the creativity of finding the time to be, be um, uh, efficient in building their business, they kick back thinking, now I have all the time in the world, and they lose sight of the next thing. The next thing to them was quitting their job. But once they quit the job, then they kick back, and they just all the wind fell out of their sails because they didn't have the next thing. What was after quitting your job? Well, what's the next thing? Is it crystallized? Is it clear in your mind? What is the next thing? So I've seen people who get to $20,000 a month. Then they let the wind fall out of their sails because they don't have the next thing pulling them forward. I see them get to $50,000 a month or $100,000 a month. I've had it happen to me literally a dozen times in my career um, where I have, without even realizing it, lost the next thing. And here's a test to find out if you have the next thing is right now, what is it? I mean, if you don't have it at the top of your brain, at the tip of your tongue, you don't have a next thing. So that's how clear it has to be. Once it becomes crystallized and then you achieve it, the most immediate thing is to determine in your brain what's the next thing. And then start working towards that. And as soon as you achieve that, what's the next thing? 
and then the next, and then the next, and then the next. And you'll find, in whatever way you want to grow that, the next thing you might, you want to, you, you want to make $100,000 to give it to an orphanage. You want to be able to give to other organizations. It's not about selfish, the next thing. And it's not about not appreciating where you are. <clears throat> it's understanding that our natural purpose is to be moving forward and growing and expanding and becoming more valuable and more beneficial to other people. Now, um, if you want to know what top achievers do, they do that. So, my question of the day for you is what is your next thing? And please, if you don't have one, spend a little time thinking about it. Put it on paper. Let the world know. And then once you achieve it, get to, get to the next one. Okay? Set the next one. So that's the advice I would give my younger self. So here's my wish for you, for all of you, as always, is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.